That's a lot of work for an F7. There's a shot back into deep left. That ball is going to be off the top of the wall and in play is the ruling and it's going to be a long single and Kevin Cash will have the very tight conversation about that. The umpire ball hit. That's supposed to be away. See where they're set up but that ball's in Paredes turns on it and let's see where it ends up. Gets powdered pretty good. The call is overturned. So the Rays will get the home run over that line up there. And Paredes will circle the bases with his 17th home run of the year. And the Rays break out in front. 19th home run allowed by Pavetta. A couple more looks. Yep, let's see. You see the brown line, and yeah, right there, right off that padding. Pretty clear when you are able to hone in on it. So the Rays out in front on the home run. Here's the home run by Paredes in the second. That fastball mislocated. Statcast 3D powered by Google Cloud. 354 feet right off the padding just above the wall. And that's ideally where. And there's a high shot deep in the left center field. And that baby's going to get out of here. Home run for Paredes. His second of the day. This one with a man on. A two run shot. And the Rays. Now lead this game four to one. Well, Paredes can get them in bunches, and he has two in two at bats today. Randy Rosarena and Isak Paredes, another fastball that is not located well, not up enough. And I think what they were saying, Wayne, with their hand machinations, was that Isak Paredes put that ball to sleep. <laughs> down so he walks him and the bases are loaded for walls and a jam shot right there with the roller to Paredes we got the pitch in on Verdun just a little too far and a ground ball into short right the defense perfectly positioned Paredes out there makes it so they get the run on the Ball four is inside. And the Rays again and the base is loaded. And that will be ball four and load the bases. So